Before handing over to the media, I know that in the past you have been exemplary in approaching questions following the loss of life with sensitivity and compassion. We must all remember that there are people in our community today grieving, and that there will be details to which myself and Minister Ashford are, quite rightly, not privy, and which family members may wish to keep private. So with that, first we have today is Paul Moulton from Isle of Man Television, Good afternoon, Paul. Fast am I. Good afternoon. I, I take on board exactly what you just said there, but the information I suppose people are looking for was the underlying health issues, had the person been vaccinated, uh, and that sort of thing. Is there anything more you can tell us, uh, Health Minister? Um, yeah, Paul. Um, what I can say is in terms of age, all I can confirm is they were in the older age groups. Um, I can't confirm in relation to underlying health conditions because I don't have that information myself. Um, and again, in vaccination status, we would not know that because that forms part of their personal medical record. Um, so we will never know at any point whether someone has been vaccinated or not. And we can't share those details because they form part of their personal medical history as well. Um, so I know that's not, probably not very helpful, um, or, but the only thing I can confirm at this time time is age wise they were in the older age groups uh, and just on that how are the ventilators doing are you under pressure uh, uh, is the you see a big rise in people now in there no, there is, there is still only one person that is in ICU, um, a bit like we discussed last year, but again, it's been a long time, so it's worth discussing again. There is very few patients, even when they are hospitalised with COVID-19, that will actually require ventilation. Many require simply oxygen therapy, which is very, very different. Um, in relation to ventilators, we have no issue at all, and there is currently one patient in ICU. And my second question is about the steam packet. They say the protocols are being followed. So what's gone wrong? Uh, but back to this again, that something has gone wrong, but no one knows what is going wrong. And it comes back to protocols being adhered to. Anyone shed any more light on what has happened? Well, that's why, Paul, I've asked for a, a, a review of what has happened so that we can see. I'm, I'm happy to share the, um, the, the protocols to informing that review. And once the review, we, we have the review um, telling us what's happened, then I'm more than happy to publish it, obviously, bar any personal data that it um, discusses. So we just don't know at this moment in time. You're quite right. Something has gone wrong. We need to find out what so that if we need to make changes to um, put in place procedures to stop that from happening again then we do, we do so but we will obviously publish that when um, it's when we've got the report an officer has been appointed to do the report and um, they will start taking evidence I'm sure on Monday. Uh, and would you maybe ask Miss Woodward to come to one of these press briefings so that we have a chance to put questions on behalf of the public to him? Well, no, that's the, these press briefings are, are government press briefings. Mr Woodward is the, the head of a private company, but I'm, I'm sure um, the report will the reporter will obviously be wanting to discuss with the steam packet um, the details, to get the details from them as, as to what measures they have in place. But as I say, let's wait and see what the report, the review gives us, and then we, we'll know um, ho hopefully what, what has gone wrong and what changes we're able to make.